Hello once again, and now we're going to talk about the, the next uh, Land Rover in the 175 range, the 12C. Uh, this is now the Safari uh, style Land Rover. Um, so superseded the 12, the 12B sort of military type Land Rover, really. Okay, so this is the 12C, so the third model in the range. And we're going to talk about uh, regular wheel and super fasts. Uh, and there we are, that's, uh, that's quite a nice picture, isn't it? Uh, you know, shows the complete progression um, of the Land Rover, and this is what I've said to you know to everybody that this this is what my collecting really is all about. It's showing that whole progression of models from from the early green uh, Land Rover, which came out in around sort of '66, uh, up until uh, the super fast one. And look what you get in the change of colours, uh, the box styles, just fantastic. And I think that. The 12C um, Safari Land Rover represents that progression of model and artwork uh, very, very well indeed. And um, you know, I was I was really pleased to sort of you know get this set. Okay, um, so we'll start with the um, uh, the box design. So the early box designs will be the um, the E3, and the E3 um, uh, only shows the green the green model with the brown with the brown luggage on the top. Um, what you may have missed, uh, which people haven't haven't perhaps realised, is that the very early um, e-box. So this has the new model on the text. You can see here that the model is actually quite a bit smaller than the later e-boxes, and I think that's quite quite fascinating, really. And why they moved on to the larger model is a bit is a bit strange because because you're sort of like you know obscuring the text here. You know, which is quite, quite, quite weird, but but there you go. So it is a it is a variation to um, to look out for. So with and without the sort of so we call this like the, obviously the small model and the large model here. Uh, so that really sort of covers the the early sort of uh, green uh, Safari Land Rover. Uh, and as it progressed, you know, for whatever reason, they decided to change the colour to sort of a, like a dark a dark blue, uh, which you'll see there. So the dark blue, um, there's the E4 box. You won't, you won't get a blue one in, a, in an E3, the earlier box. Um, so there's the, there's the sort of dark blue with the E box. And the first blue models had a brown luggage on there, there on top as well. Then we move to the F, uh, regular wheel F type box. Okay, and as you can see, the sort of the model colours are sort of sort of toned down a bit, but also they they started to produce more of a an orangey brown luggage, uh, which is sort of quite interesting. So we've gone green brown, dark blue brown, mid blue, orangey brown. Okay, and as you can see here, matching box artwork. So this is this is great this 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 range because you've got matching uh, model and box artwork on the green. We've got it on the blue, whether it's E box or F box. Okay. Then we move on to the um, the super fast. Okay, now the super fast version is extremely rare. Okay, uh, a very 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 commonly faked model, sort of thing that you see on well-known auction sites on a, on a weekly basis these days. But to get to get a proper original one is very 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 um, uh, difficult. Uh, be careful where you're buying it. Get some background on it. Buy it from a trusted source or a tr trusted auction house. Otherwise, you you could well get stung. Now, with my one there, you'll see again a different shade of blue as well. Um, so, th three actual shades of the blue Land Rover here. Okay. Um, now, the other thing is what people don't know about is on the interior. Uh, there's two versions. Um, it's what we call with and without a transmission tunnel, and the transmission tunnel will actually appear on all these issues but whatever the issue the transmission tunnel um, is a is a rarer interior why they do that I've not actually found out why so if anybody's out there uh, that knows about this transmission interior casting then again please enlighten me look I mean I don't know everything I'm still still learning every day is a school day with matchbox seriously guys you know whether it's box artwork whether it's model variations I learn something every single day now people are going to ask, well, what are you talking about, Graham, this transmission tunnel? I, I can't really show, it's very difficult in the pictures. But if you look on, on the inside of the interior, okay, there is like a white, it, it is, it's, it's, it's like a transmission, in, in your real car, when you sit there, you know, particularly if you've got a rear wheel drive car, you know, you've got the prop shaft that goes underneath the um, um, body, runs along the middle of the chassis. And to hide that, they put what we call a transmission tunnel. So it houses like, the prop shaft, the gearbox, and, and that sort of thing. 
again why they incorporated it on the Land Rover we just don't we just don't know didn't appear on the green started to appear on the later blue ones so you will see it on this one this one and the gold ones now fun enough these these two I think why have you got two of those well I've actually got them with and without transmission tunnel okay because I just find it a fascinating variation this this is without tunnel this is with tunnel this is without tunnel this is with this is without so there you go a very very fascinating thing um, on the super fast okay only only the the, the the blue and the gold variations and I say you have got the interior casting difference with and without the transmission tunnel um, the F box basically for the super fast purely replicates the, the the regular wheel box and to get production moving to get the models out there because of the hot wheels invasion uh, they did um, um, uh, put the little black super fast flash here okay uh, they didn't change the artwork so again this doesn't obviously match the artwork okay because this, this is still showing the regular wheel but it is the correct box for this okay uh, you, you you more often see it with the um the gold because the gold was released in the um, the early box as well uh, then you move on to the g and as far as i know there's no sort of variations on the g um i've never seen it without the new text um you know it, it may exist and one thing we have skipped on in the past you know you have these little uh, with and without tm marks tm meaning meaning trademark uh, i i haven't seen any variation it, there possibly is it could be a little text variation um but if you if you've got something then then let us know so that really sort of covers the um uh, the, tw the 12c land rover and we'll just we'll just look at the um uh, the piece de resistance as they say the uh, the super fast blue and there she is okay there's the reverse view and most importantly uh, the base view um, and as you can see there perfectly perfectly um, uh, straight rivet no damage around the, uh, the plastic base which is generally what you get on, on on the fake models I mean the bodges and the fakers they're getting better at this okay but you know just have a look have a, have a close look at it okay because generally you will see some signs of tampering uh, you won't on my one um, so that covers a 12c thanks ever so much for watching uh, we'll see you soon take care bye bye